The Acolyte continues to tease that a potential Darth Plagueis role in the story. In one of my recent videos, I theorized that the mystery Sith in the Acolyte is only the Apprentice, and that he's currently training Mei and testing her with the ultimate end goal of betraying his own Sith Master and progressing the Rule of Two, and that this current Sith Master is Darth Plagueis, which is in line with the timeline. Mei and the Sith Apprentice would go on to fail, defeated by Plagueis, leading him on his own search for a new Apprentice, eventually coming to find Palpatine. And while this was just a theory to begin with, very loosely fitting into the Acolyte story thus far without having any insane evidence in its favor, the latest episode of the Acolyte included a connection to Darth Plagueis that makes this seem even more likely. The third episode takes place on Brendok 16 years prior to the happenings of the show's premiere, showing us Mei and Osha's home before the horrific fire that burnt it all down and resulted in Osha being taken to train as a Jedi on Coruscant. The episode left viewers with some answers and many, many questions, but one of the biggest reveals was that Mei and Osha are not your average set of twins. While watching, you may have noticed the lack of both men and other children in the Coven's compound. This is because there are none. It's a coven of all female witches, and as such, can't procreate through typical means. But Osha and Mei were not conceived through typical means. As we learn from the episode, Mother Anisea created them, while Mother Coral carried them. While no specific details are ever given to how this occurred, they are concerned about how the Jedi will find out about their unusual conception, whether this be because of Republic laws, their manipulation of the Force, or this extremely rare and powerful skill. Although we're never told how, we as viewers can assume that Mother Anisea created the twins by manipulating the midichlorians to create life. She's shown to be powerful in the thread, what they call the Force, and it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibilities if a witch was able to discover the Force power. Thanks to the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise, famously told to Anakin Skywalker by Palpatine in Revenge of the Sith, we know that Darth Plagueis was a dark lord of the Sith, so powerful and so wise. He could use the Force to influence the midi-chlorians to create life. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. Interestingly enough, during the Ascension Ceremony, Mother Anisea mentions how some see their coven's power as dark and unnatural, further creating a link between the Witches and Plagueis. Although the timelines right now are a little fuzzy, with the Acolyte taking place sometime around 132 BBY, and in Legends, Darth Plagueis was born between 147 and 120 BBY, this could be how Plagueis ultimately learned how to influence the Force to create life. What role, if any, he has in the story is still murky, but the discovery that the Brendok Covenant Witches were powerful enough to create Force-sensitive twins by influencing the Force could kickstart Plagueis on his journey to learn this power as well, whether he's simply inspired by their discovery, or he outright steals their technique. We still don't know the extent of Mayanosha's past, conception, and their connection to the Force, but should Plagueis appear in the series, it would make sense that this be how he learns possibly the greatest power in the Force. What did you think of the latest episode of The Acolyte? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like the video and subscribe for coverage of the series as a new episode premieres every week, and remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you all for watching, and remember, the Force will be with you. Always.